Okay, guys, let's do some math. Remember last week, I told you that we were gonna be finished making 10 um, to add easier. Well, this week, you're gonna see why we needed to do that. So, our job this week is to be able to add three numbers. So, we're gonna have three numbers that we're gonna have to add together, and we're gonna learn that it's gonna be easier to try to make a 10 and then add on. So, let's first start out by doing our problem of the day. So, your problem says, Katie has cousins. Five of them are older than her. Two of them are younger than her. How many cousins does Katie have? I'm gonna give you just a minute to see if you can work this one on your own. Okay, let's go ahead and start this one. So the first thing that I see is that Katie has cousins. Well, five of them, so if I show the five of them that are older than her, right there, and then I see two of them are younger than her, so I can very quickly see how many cousins she has in a picture. But remember, we can't just have a picture, we also have to have a number sentence to match. So we know that five cousins are older than her and two are younger than her. So I know that five plus two is seven. So Katie has seven cousins. So now I have to answer my question. How many cousins does Katie have? Well, I'm gonna come back up here and get my words. Remember, I don't just make up random words. I have to come back up here and get my words. So I'm gonna write Katie Oh, goodness. So I use that. Has seven cousins. So I was able to answer my question using a picture, using a number sentence, and with um, a sentence answering the question, how many cousins does Katie have? Okay, now I am so excited to add three numbers. So, I want you to pretend like we're in the classroom because you know that's our safe place and we love to be in the classroom. And you know Miss Smets, she's always doing crazy things and running around and jumping and hopping and uh-oh, the markers fell. You know, my bucket of markers at the whiteboard, they fell. So, I need help picking them up. Well, Josie grabbed seven of them, and Caden grabbed three of them, and Alex grabbed four of them for me. So now, I have all my markers, but they're all in different hands. So this is what it might look like. Josie picked up seven of them, Caden picked up three of them, and Alex picked up four of them. So what I need to know is how many markers did I actually have in my bucket? And some of you are going to say, Miss Metz, that's easy. I could just count all of those. Well, you know what? When we get a little bit older, you're not going to be able to do all that counting because it's going to be some crazy big numbers. So we're going to start learning strategies to help us group numbers to add easier. So, the very first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to write out what each person picked up. So, Josie, she ended up picking up seven of them. Caden, he got three of them. And Alex got four of them. And some of you are going to say, oh, Miss Metz, that's easy. I can still just count. Again, I love that you can count. But remember, our job is to take these three numbers and add them together, not just to count them. So, if you remember last week, our big job was to make a 10. It's so much easier if you can make a 10 because you can add so much quicker. And the first thing that I'm going to see is, are there numbers here that could make a 10? I hope you said, oh, Miss Metz, I see it, I see it, I see it. 
Yes, these two numbers right here can come together because seven and three is 10. So now I don't have these numbers anymore. I actually made a 10. Now I still have this number, 10 plus four. Now, can you solve 10 plus four much quicker than seven plus three plus four? Of course you can. 10 plus four is 14. So how many markers did I have in my bucket? You should have come up with 14 because that's exactly right. And how did we do it? We put two numbers together to make a 10, just like we did last week. Now, I'm gonna give you another problem and I want you to see if you can help me figure this one out, okay? So, I have my friend Anna and Anna has some blocks. She has six red blocks, four blue blocks, and two green blocks. But I wanna know how many blocks does Anna have all together? So the first thing that I need to do is I need to draw a picture of that. So I'm going to draw my six red blocks. Okay. And then I'm going to come over and I'm going to draw my four, or yes, my four blue blocks. And then I'm going to draw my two green blocks. So here you can see how many I have and you're gonna say, Miss Metz, I can count those. Yeah, but I don't want you to because remember our job is to make a 10 in order to add easier, which is going to be when we add three digits. So let's write out the number sentence that matches our picture. So I have six red blocks, four blue blocks, and two green blocks. So now I want you to look and I want you to see, are there some numbers in here that we could add together to make a 10? Do you see numbers that we could add together to make a 10? I hope you said six and four because that's exactly right. Six and four are gonna make 10. So now I no longer have six and four, I actually have a 10. 10 plus my two green blocks is gonna give me what? 10 plus two is, I hope you said 12 because that's exactly right. So this week, this is exactly what we're gonna do. We are going to practice putting numbers together to make 10 so we can add easier. Because when we have three digits, it's a lot harder to add three digits than it is two. And if we can make a 10 with two of those, oh, we're gonna add so quickly. So remember, our job this week when we add three digits is to try to make 10 out of those and then we can add much easier.